Welcome to part 5 of the Fundamentals of Mathematics. These problems again come from comprehensive Let Reviewer General Education Mathematics book published by Lurimar Publishing Inc. Problem number 21. Which of the following numbers is not composite? A. 57 B. 103 C. 121 D. 169 Here is our solution. A composite number is a number that can be divided evenly by more numbers than one and itself. It is the opposite of a prime number. For option A, 57 can be evenly divided by 1, 3, 19, and 57 with no remainder. Since 57 cannot be divided by just 1 and 57, it is a composite number. So letter A is not the correct answer. For option B, 103 can be evenly divided by 1 and 103 with no remainder. Since 103 can be divided by just 1 and 103, it is not a composite number. So the correct answer is letter B, 103. Problem number 22. How many 10 decimeter ropes can be cut from a 30 meter roll? A3 B30 C300 D3000 Here is our solution. The first part is to convert decimeter to meter. Multiply 10 decimeter by 0 0.1 meter over 1 decimeter. And that is 10 decimeter times 0 0.1 meter divided by 1 decimeter. Next, cancel out the same unit. For this analysis, the unit decimeter shall be cancelled out. So we are left with the unit meter. 10 times 0 0.1 meter equals 1 meter. Lastly, divide 30 meters by 1 meter. 30 meters divided by 1 meter equals 30. The correct answer is letter B, 30. Problem number 23. Bianca spent half of her money shopping for clothes and one-third of the remaining for a pair of shoes. If she has 1,000 pesos left in her wallet, how much does she have at first? A. 1,500 pesos B. 3,000 pesos C. 4,500 pesos D. 6,000 pesos Here is our solution. Let x equals the money Bianca has at first. First, convert the sentential expression to its mathematical equivalent. In our problem, Bianca spent half of her money shopping for clothes. That becomes one half of x where x is the money Bianca had at first. Next, one-third of her remaining money was spent for a pair of shoes. That becomes one-half of x minus one-third times one-half of x. Next, Bianca has 1,000 pesos left in her wallet. That becomes one-half of x minus one-third times one-half of x equals 1,000. Next, Multiply one-third by one-half. One-third times one-half equals one-sixth. Our equation now becomes one-half of x minus one-sixth of x equals 1,000. Next, subtract one-sixth of x from one-half of x. One-half of x minus one-sixth of x becomes three-sixths of x minus one-sixth of x. 3 sixth of x minus 1 sixth of x becomes 2 sixth of x. Our equation now becomes 2 sixth of x equals 1000. Next, divide both sides by 2 sixth. Cancel out 2 sixth at the left hand side of the equation. Our equation now becomes x equals 1000 divided by 2 sixth. Lastly, divide 1000 by 2 sixth. 1,000 divided by 2 sixths equals 3,000. So, 
The correct answer is letter B, 3,000 pesos. Problem number 24. Which of the following is the prime factorization of 2,100? A. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7. B. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7. C. 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7. D. 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 7. Here is our solution. The easiest way for us to find out the answer is to perform the mathematical operation for each option. For option A, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 equals 2,520. So letter A is not the correct answer. For option B, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7 equals 2,100. So the correct answer is letter B. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7. Problem number 25. How many prime factors does 1,800 have? A5, B6, C7, D8. Here is our solution. First, Get the prime factors of 1,800. Divide 1,800 with the smallest prime number possible. Then take the result from that and divide that by the smallest prime number. Repeat this process until you end up with 1. Here is the math to illustrate. 1,800 divided by the smallest prime number possible, which is 2. And that equals 900. Repeat this process until you end up with 1. 900 divided by 2 equals 450. 450 divided by 2 equals 225. 225 divided by the smallest prime number possible, which is 3, equals 75. 75 divided by 3 equals 25. 25 divided by the smallest prime number possible, which is 5. And that equals 5. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Thus, the prime factors of 1,800 are 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 5, 5. How many prime factors does 1,800 have? When we count the number of prime numbers above, we find that 1,800 has a total of 7 prime factors. The correct answer is letter C, 7. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.